Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. What does your company do? Have you ever Googled yourself? Totally. What makes a great entrepreneur? What's your next big idea? Tweeting's like my favorite. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. Daily Muse is an online community for professional women. They're a Y Combinator company, and Catherine Minshew is the founder and CEO of Daily Muse. And she's just really cool. Well, here we are with Catherine Minshew of the Daily Muse. So, how's it going? Um, it's been really exciting. Um, exciting and terrifying, which I guess is pretty typical for startups. Yes, um, definitely. My company is in Y Combinator right now, which is an incubator Congratulations, program. that's really amazing for, I think it's an amazing organization. Yeah, it's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, honestly, um, So have I think you done the boot camp? So we're part way through, actually. Oh, good. Um, we are kind of um, most of the way through the boot camp, and uh, the demo day, which is kind of the end, is March 28th, so oh, okay. two and a half weeks away. For those of us out there who don't know what the Daily Muse is, will you give us a, you know, your Y Combinator pitch? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so the Daily Muse started uh, to address a massive gap in the market for women, which okay. is smart content for professional women, ambitious women, driven women. Um, I was working at McKinsey & Company as a management consultant, and um, you know, I looked around at what was being targeted at women, and it was shopping and spas and sex tips and celebrity news. And I thought to myself, there's this massive demographic of smart women who are much more concerned with, do I like my job? And if I don't like my job, when's the right time to leave and find another one? And what does that job look like? And how do I succeed in it? And we wanted to create a destination and a brand and a home for those women. And as we, uh, we launched a platform in um, September of last year, um, Ariana Huffington wrote for our launch and we cover how to negotiate a raise and how to hire a good team and how to lead them. And we started growing and we're now looking at recruiting and the job search and seeing um, rather than just providing advice, how can we actually connect Daily News users to companies that are hiring and, and to companies that have really exciting cultures and visions and, and missions that people can get behind. I love that. I really think there needs to be more role models for women mm -hmm. and strong women and power women and um, you know women in business and there just there aren't enough role models in that area I think and mm -hmm. I I like that you are celebrating those people and those sort of businesses. So what are you excited about right now? Um, I'm really actually I'm really excited about these company profiles we're doing. Um, as I was saying, we've been thinking for a really long time about recruiting, and you know when I was looking to leave McKinsey. I looked at jobs at hedge funds paying, you know, three hundred thousand dollars a year. I looked at jobs in Rwanda or at nonprofits, and I felt like the job search process is really fragmented. Right. It's really intimidating. Um, it's also visually not very pleasant. I mean, right. when you look at a lot of the sites online right now that yeah. do career, um, they're not made, you know, to be kind of a pleasant browsing experience. Right, right. And um, and so it's something we've been at the Daily Muse. We've been thinking for a long time that we really wanted to tackle. And we just launched something on TechCrunch, um, which is essentially these company profiles. We're calling it Company Muse, mm -hmm. but uh, you know that's a kind of placeholder name at the moment. And uh, what we wanted to do is really get inside the culture and the people and the vision of a company, so that um, we want to give people the same information they'd get in interview round three or when they start the job and people start really kind of introducing them to the company. But we want to bring that to you know, before the interview process. So you don't have to waste a lot of time on a company that might be a really great place to work, but isn't a great place to work for you. Right. Um, so we picked a couple companies. We went to Clout, the social great media company. company, Kiva, which does microfinance, right. which is you know uh, something really near and dear to my we heart. Them, yeah. Exactly, and um, we, we spoke to employees, we videotaped everything, we took tons of photographs, and then we created these you know highly interactive photo uh, profiles, sort of in the style of Pinterest, so that you can kind of continue browsing. And our goal is really to you know to to understand like what is it that's going to make users look at a company and say that specific company would be perfect for me. You know, I have yeah. a question for you as a content producer and creator. When you run something like that, you really have to produce content very quickly and efficiently and cheaply. Mm -hmm. And um, how do you do that? How do you keep up? How do you get content out there? We produce content in basically two different ways right now at The Daily Muse. Um, we have our regular content, which is produced by a, a team of contributors who are amazing. I think we have around 180 volunteers right now who write for the Daily Muse, um, and they range from you know, people in their mid-20s who are providing like very kind of recent tactical experience about 
five mistakes I made in my first year out of law school right. by someone who's four years out of law school. Right. Um, we have an amazing editorial team at The Daily News. Um, our, our managing editor, Adrienne, actually, uh, we found her in my last company that I founded and ran, and uh, we're working with her as a volunteer, and you know, when you find someone who is amazing and dead on to your brand, like you hire them. Even though at the time we hired her, we didn't really have the money to pay a salary, but we made it work, we figured it out, and so she supervises the editorial process um, for our regular content. And then uh, right now for the company profiles, we have a very, very small team that does those by hand, right. um, particularly because we're still learning from each one. We're still yeah. learning what our users want, uh, we're still learning what the companies want, and we're also, you know, obviously always trying to balance um, the company in some ways a customer, they're a client, they want to recruit, and we only work with companies we feel really excited about. Um, but we're, you know, we're, we're still learning a lot about how that process works. So I personally um, am very involved in you know, the actual shooting of the profiles, yeah, the creation of them, um, as are my co-founders, um, Alex and Melissa, and, um, and our, our technical and design team as well. So tell me a little about the tech scene in New York. Yeah. Oh, I am. I am the biggest fan of the tech scene in New York. To it's be honest, it's really. I mean, we were just out there. We did a bunch of interviews out there, and mm -hmm. we we were really impressed with all of the companies that are coming out of there right now, and they're ones that even people haven't necessarily heard about, but they're about to blow up, and it's very absolutely. Exciting. I mean, New York is this incredible center, especially for consumer-facing companies right. right now, and I love it because it is just scrappy. I mean, New Yorkers hate to be second at anything, and they know they're second to Silicon Valley in the tech scene, and it just drives them crazy. So there's this, there's this sense that you know, if one company wins, it's good for everybody. I feel like it's you know, you've got all of these people just like pulling a sled or something, right, and right. they're just like, you know, screw everything. Like we are gonna do this, and uh, and I love it. You know, I really love it. I think the other thing that makes the New York tech scene really special right. is that almost everyone there has given up. A much, you know, they've they've deli they've explicit they've left a much more lucrative career, right? And uh, and they've also kind of had that background experience. So in New York, people who are starting companies, um, you know, worked at Macy's uh, or Armani or Goldman Sachs, um, you know, or, or one of the sort of thousands of other industries that make New York famous. Right. And they've seen that, they've lived it, they know the problems of the industry, and they've decided to leave and start something. And um, New York is a city that it's a great place to have a lot of money. So if you have a really nice corporate salary in New York, you can have a great apartment, you can go out to these great restaurants, and giving that up to do a startup means you have to want to do it. Yeah. And I do think that's something um, that's really unique about New York. I think you guys are going places, so I'm really impressed with what you're doing, and I'm so behind you 110%. It's an incredible thing, in a, an incredible space you're going after, and I think more women ought to do things like you. So, you know, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed it, and, um, you know, yeah, I'd, I'd love for people to just kind of check us out. We're always yeah, we're, more contributors. Yeah, we're at thedailymuse.com. Yeah, thedailymuse.com is the website, at Daily Muse is the Twitter. Um, and be sure to kind of poke around and check out for the company profiles. That's amazing. So, yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, and I had a blast. Good. I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Catherine Minshew of the Daily Muse. <laughs> you did Too a much really pause. good job. No, no, no. It was perfect. Like, really. I was impressed. I was like... Ow. And now it's time for your dips moment. Oh, Newsletters, etc. Huh. Because done, right? perfect. Aren't we'll launch muse, it next week. Isn't the old myth of the muse like they were mermaids? Three mermaids. Hmm. I'm gonna look this up and I'm gonna be totally I was gonna say wrong. we better check. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to Wikipedia that one.